The Mamelodi taxi strike has been called off. Police and operators have reached an agreement. Impounded taxis will be released at 8 tomorrow morning. The standoff started last week when taxi groups violently resisted Autopax buses taking over from Putko routes in the township. Taxis were impounded after Operation Fiela was rolled out. It was another chaotic day in Mamelodi. A total shutdown of taxis inconveniencing thousands of commuters. 59 taxis were impounded for various transgressions. Taxi bosses said they were being targeted unfairly. Earlier, taxi operators threatened to extend the shutdown to the whole of Kauteng if they did not get their impounded vehicles back. Initially, police said those taxis would have to undergo roadworthy tests before they could be released. This seems to have been abandoned. The taxis will be released tomorrow morning. Another meeting with the Premier has been scheduled. There has been a, a meeting of minds because this afternoon we were told that um, the taxi operators uh, who had their taxis impounded, they must take their uh, fines to the um, prosecutor to have those fines cancelled and um, release notes uh, will be issued. We are told that has been done and uh, um, we are also meeting with the Premier tomorrow. In the light of those two uh, positive developments, we have decided to call off the strike. So there will be no strike tomorrow. Taxis will be operating normally including in Mamilodi. So it's been a difficult day for commuters in Mamilodi this morning and somebody who's been there watching the story unfold is our reporter Patricia Fasaki. We cross to her now. Patricia, you've been there the whole day. Give us a sense of what happened and these developments that have taken place in the last few hours. Good evening, uh, Peter. Certainly a lot of developments uh, throughout uh, the day and perhaps uh, the biggest one, the fact that the uh, taxis will start their engines again and be on the roads operating again. Uh, but to speak more about that, I am now uh, joined uh, by uh, Stemmer Munaheng Muna, Muna from Malta. He was in the meeting where the decision was taken to give back uh, uh, the, the impounded taxis to the operators and, of course, uh, have them back on the roads, an indication that they have re reconciled with a government. Good evening, Mr. Munaheng. Of course, uh, the message that you have to take back to uh, your members. Yes, uh, the message I must take back to the members is that we have called a strike off because uh, our regional chairpersons have resolved with our government uh, to they have resolved to give us our cars back and even today we have already started uh, signing out the document the release document that tomorrow we'll be collecting all our cars that are in an impounding area but you told me earlier that you've already discussed this with some of your members what what's the feedback that they were getting from you uh, can you say that again you, you said to me earlier you have already spoken to some of your members. What's the feedback that you got from them? How do they feel about the news? No, they are, they are very excited about the news. That the fact that we'll get in their cars back and the fact that tomorrow we'll be fearing our community because our priority is our community, our commuters. But you said earlier there's also something that you want from the Premier. Yes. Now, uh, about that, uh, my leaders uh, have told me that uh, tomorrow we have a meeting with the Premier where some of the issues uh, will be resolved with the Premier because as uh, the Premier of Gauteng, uh, he has to take care of our problems. If not, he knows the, the problem is coming for him. All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, that is Stemmer Munaheng from uh, Malta, just uh, telling us that he has to uh, go and talk to some of the members that he has not been in contact with, just to remind them that uh, uh, the issue has been resolved. They will be back on the road uh, tomorrow. And, of course, uh, the meeting with the Premier just to seal everything. Patricia, thank you very much indeed. Uh, she's been uh, watching that story and uh, will continue with the coverage of that as it continues to unfold.